Hi everybody and welcome to Pilot Car 101. Today we are going to talk about the lead car. This is the first video on the lead car, the front car, the car that drives ahead <coughs> of the oversized load. Now this particular video is going to go over the most important thing a lead car, a lead car driver needs to know and that is uh, how to read a permit. So, and we are going to go over also um, the basic uh, tools that a lead car driver needs in order to be able to read a permit and make the whole thing work for himself. But before we go into this, uh, let me make a few general announcements. And this is, I have gotten a lot of questions and the reason why I, got, I have gotten a lot of questions is because I haven't done a lot, enough videos. So I will change my ways, you know. Uh, I definitely know I have to do this, I have to do more videos. Now, but on another, on another point is that some of these questions I received uh, actually are already on, the, on this YouTube channel on Pilot Car 101. And here's one thing I want to tell you how you can find these things uh, most easily. And that is when you look at the top of that, uh, to uh, on top of my video here, you will find uh, it says up there home, and then to the right side of it, it says videos. So you probably right now on the home page, on uh, the home tab, and if you click on the video tab you see the chronological sequence of all the videos that I have done on that channel. And it's the first video that I did was when I was maybe two months into the pilot car business. And at that time, uh, uh, I was a beginner, you know, and what you basically find in that chronological sequence is my route, my uh, experience as a pilot car driver. So if you start with the oldest video and go through one one after the other or ju or just look at the titles you will s get your uh, you will get answers to things that you probably look for you know for example how should you get insurance what is the first step uh you know uh what a chase car driver is supposed to do and as i said early in my videos you know the chase car is the way you start out on it uh and I have done, I think, three videos so far on chase car driving, and uh, it pretty much will give you an idea of what to do when you do when you really start from the beginning. So now this video is the first video for the lead car driver, and it is taking up the subject of permits. Permits are uh, issued by the DMV or the DOT, DMV Department of Motor Vehicles, DOT Department of Transportation. Every state has one of them, of course, and every state has a different permit. They are all different. I mean, just literally everyone is different. Isn't that lovely? And some are more cryptic than others. All of them are not very easy to read. And uh, <clears throat> I'm sure you're going to leave a ton of opinion about these permits in your comments below. But that's okay, man. That's okay. You can say whatever you like. Uh, and uh, but the, the thing is, you know, you gotta learn how to read those m motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> excuse my German. But uh, the, uh, so basically, what I'm gonna uh, tell you is, uh, you know, what are I have, I have notes here. I'm looking at these notes. Go ahead. Um, so. The first thing is um, you have to have, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a program that you can put into your phone uh, or a tablet that actually will tell you the route. You have to transfer the data from the permit into a program, a map program, that will tell you what route you want to follow because uh, you want to have your attention on the road and the traffic and the truck behind you and you don't want to have it on figuring out 
what does it say on the permit? Where am I supposed to go? You know, you don't want to be in that situation. You want to just have a headset and maybe I'm going to put a link for this headset, this, which, which I love that headset. This is a really good one. Uh, uh, and uh, maybe I put a link for that in there too, in case you want to know about it. But uh, this is not the main point here. The main point is that you have a headset and it's connected to a phone or to a tablet and it tells you what the route is and you can take a quick look. You, you know, it tells you what to do and you look at it. Aha, uh -huh, this is where I'm going next. You know, you can check it with the trucker. You're going to say our, our next turn is to the left. Uh, two miles ahead or whatever, you know, and the truck can say, yeah, yeah, that looks right. Or, you know, and then you have your confirmation and you do the turn. Um, so it's important to have an app that tells you where the exact route is going to go. An app where you can transfer the data from the permit onto it by hand, when I say transfer, you might be thinking computer transfer. No, by hand. Okay. So that is the first tool of a lead car. He must have an app that tells him what the route is. Now, there's two potential uh, apps that you can use. One of them is called uh, InRoute and the other one is called Trucker Path. I prefer in route by a long shot. I have downloaded the uh, tr uh, Tracker Path app and I tried it and I uh, dropped it. Now, that is not to mean that Tracker Path is a bad app. It is not. It's just much different from the in route one and I feel it in route is simpler. Uh, another big difference is the price. In route is four ninety nine a month, and uh, Trucker Pass is eight thirty. I put a link down below to both of them, whichever you wanna uh, finally decide. In route is an Apple based uh, map, uh, uh, Apple based program. You know, it has, you have to have an Apple device in order to route, read In route, and uh, Trucker Pass can be used by Apple. Uh, devices or by Android devices. That's an advantage of Trucker Pass. Uh, however, for in route, there is a, a great way to escape the expensive Apple phone or Apple uh, devices, and that is uh, you just simply buy an iPad. And uh, I have put in a link below where you can get a refurbished iPad at uh, the link below is uh, at that time, you know, when you these prices change on these refurbished iPads, that particular link below is on $175. Uh, but you, you, you know, you can go to that link uh, and then uh, do other searches to find something else. You know what I mean? In, in that whole uh, uh, selection of, of iPads. Uh, and uh, uh, that personally, I seriously recommend it's because you can uh, these 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 iPads that come also with uh, a, a Wi-Fi possibility. So uh, it's a good solution, okay, to take in route. Personally, that's my suggestion. However, Tracker Pass is definitely another option. Okay, so you have to have an, uh, a program that can be put into your phone where you can transfer uh, the data from the permit to your uh, uh, route based program, the program that gives you the route. <clears throat> okay, that's the first tool you have to have. Uh, the other uh, tool is basically Google Maps. When you use Intraout, Intraout is, is based on Apple Maps. Apple Maps is a, a more simply simplified map than Google Maps. Um, uh, Google Map is more specific uh, when you look for uh, roads and so forth. Uh, doesn't mean that Apple is uh, 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 less quality or, or so. It's just you can, you know, Apple, Apple for example, they tell you US 85, but uh, uh, in a, if you pull up a Google Map, it tells you US 85 or US 85 business. B 
big difference. Uh, so when you put in your your program, your, sorry, your route from the permit into your in route program, you uh, should have open an Apple map, uh, sorry, a Google map where you can check exactly what it is. And you then, for example, if it's US uh, 85 business, uh, you can then figure it out using the Google Maps how to get this into your in route. And uh, I will do a separate video on how exactly you to use the in route map. But frankly, in route is simple and you probably can figure this out on your own without uh, having to wait for a video from me, from me on this. I Frankly, that's how I learned it. You know, somebody told me, hey, why don't you use in route, you know, and start being a lead car driver for crying out loud. And I said, OK, I'll do it, you know, and I downloaded it. And I tell you, I mean, it took me, a, you know, a couple of hours to really figure it out. But then I got it, you know, and I was a happy camper since ever since. The, that's the, the next tool, Google Maps. The next, the, the other tool that's very important for you is a tool called a tracker atlas. This is the one I like a lot. This one is really great. Um, we've got some really uh, specific maps in here. You know, uh, it really goes into detail. You know where where roads are, and uh, sometimes you you can't figure it out on Google Maps. You 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 really uh, uh, get to uh, uh, get into confusion, whatever, and the, the Trucker Atlas is going to help you for, sort it out. Um, and I'm going to put a link also uh, below where you can get that Trucker uh, Atlas. Now, there is another uh, trick pilot car drivers use, including yours truly, and that is something called state maps. State maps. I have here a few of them, and they're great. They're actually very great. Um, very, uh, I cannot put your link in that uh, uh, for that below because you have to get them. At uh, whenever you drive in a state, you have a welcome center, and at that welcome center, uh, you can uh, get uh, uh, one of these maps for free if they're not out of stock. Um, and these maps are. Or have uh, they? They not only cover uh, uh, what's in the uh, uh, trucker atlas, but they also cover sometimes little uh, uh, state roads or county roads that are not particularly noted by Google or by the trucker atlas, but they are in there. They are in there. I seldom have to use these ones. I mostly can figure it out with Google and the Tracker Atlas. But in the rare occasion, I have those. Uh, I had one instance once, you know, we were all confused. Literally everybody was confused. But it was here. It was here. Okay, so it's kind of a, a say, uh, you know, like your last uh, re re resort. Now, how are you going to uh, learn how to read permits? Well, by doing it over and over. Uh, in order to help you with this, I have put on my website uh, 23 uh, uh, permits from different states. And uh, I mean, I have I have a few more permits. I mean, I have actually quite a bunch more permits I can put on there. but. Those 23 that will it will give you a good good selection, you know, on 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 figuring out how the states communicate what their routes are, their oversized load routes. So what I suggest you do is you download your in route map or your tracker pass. Uh, you you study the tutorial specifically the in routes. They have a little tutorial right on the app. And uh, then you go to my website and you can download the permit or you just can pull it up there, read it and put it in your uh, uh, app, in your in route or tracker pass and work with that. And do this over and over and over until you can do this easily. Um, <clears throat> that is basically 
the long and short of it. This is the first step. What I'm going to do, uh, probably what I should be doing, is make also an in-route video. There are actually in-route videos on YouTube already. Uh, if you just type into the YouTube uh, 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 search bar up there, uh, in route or in route tutorials, you'll find stuff. So you can then go ahead with that. Um, otherwise, I uh, think this is pretty much it. It's an important subject. You know, if you don't know how to read a permit, uh, you just are going to asking for trouble, you know. Um, you have to be able, this is the first duty, this is the big difference between a front and a lead car and the chase rear car. It's the front guy has to be able to read a permit. Many times I, I, I hired on to a load as a chase car driver and about, I mean literally many times, and about five miles into the trip or 10 miles into the trip, the trucker stopped, uh, 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 went to the front car, talked with him, came back to me and said, can you read a permit? The front guy doesn't know how to read a permit. I said, sure, I can read a permit. And he, we got switched, you know. And uh, it's, not, it's not very nice when that happens, you know. I think that's it. I'll wish you good luck with the permits. I hope you're doing okay. And I'll see you in the next video.